It is unfortunately that time of year again, back to school. Today I'm going to be showing you guys 20 very different back to school outfits that are all in dress code. Well, mostly. Growing up, I always got really excited for the first week of school because that meant cute back to school outfits. And then the first week would end and I'd go back to wearing sweatshirts. But here's the 20 outfits that I will hopefully but probably not wear this fall. We're starting off with a kind of nicer outfit that's perfect for the first day of school. Some people hate it, some people love it, but I'm personally a huge fan of t-shirts under dresses. Since the dress is on the flowier side, I paired it with this tight-fitting t-shirt from Brandy. Next, we're switching it up with the same t-shirt, but over the dress. This is a super easy way to make it look like you have two completely different outfits. Is it a skirt? Is it a dress? Is it a skirt? Who knows? You can baffle your classmates all year. Not really, it, it kinda just looks like a shirt over a dress. But anyway, I also switched to my Converse for a more casual look. In part two of how to make one dress look like two completely different outfits, I started off with this basic floral dress and my Converse for a nice summery casual look. The great thing about this dress is that it's pretty seasonally versatile, Pink floral is very summery, yet the black base color makes it pretty transferable to winter. So I switched out my Converse for my Doc Martens and added a dark purse for an edgier, winterier look. I know purses aren't the most practical for school, but especially if you're in college, I generally only carry around a notebook or two and my pencils. I mean, what's more important? Having a backpack full of necessary school supplies or fashion? The best thing about this outfit is that it has the feel of pajamas, but looks really well put together. Ah, who am I kidding? It kinda just looks like I'm wearing pajamas but it's perfect for rolling out of bed for those dreaded college 8 a.m. classes. Also on a completely different note, it's probably most likely not in your high school dress code, but could look equally as cute with some longer shorts. And for an even completely or different note, is that a real word, completely -er? Anyway, this outfit really screams the girl version of Urkel to me, and I'm actually really here for it. The socks might be a bit much, but they're a really effortless way to make any outfit instantly more fun. I honestly can't say whether I'm actually bold enough to wear this much color, but I love the fun t-shirt with the yellow shoes. I'm just going to embrace that dangerous my middle name. Well, actually it's Quincy, but you guys get the picture. I decided to keep the yellow vans and take off the socks for a more subtle, colorful look. I actually really love this outfit. Like the pajama outfit, it really screams comfortable yet put together. You can even tuck in the sweatshirt for an even more I've got my life together look. Oh my gosh, I also didn't realize till right now that my shoes match Mickey's, that's great. I'm using the same t-shirt under the dress trick to make this instantly an in-school dress code dress. That was a mouthful. And also instantly more casual. This dress is pretty tight fitting, so I like that the Converse and white t-shirt make it less like I'm going to the club and more like I'm going to a picnic. But wait, did someone say tuck your dress into jeans and add Doc Martens? No, I, I don't. I don't think anyone did that. Being completely honest, I can't decide whether this outfit is a hit or a miss, but I do know that it's a really easy and fun way to wear a dress completely differently. The key is mom jeans plus a tight dress equals a successful dress tuck-in. You can also switch the blue jeans out for black jeans, which I think looks way nicer for this dress in particular and is a cool winter look. I know, I know, it's still August, but I honestly start wearing black jeans like the first week of school. Now for some rapid fire t-shirt and jeans outfits. This outfit is really simple, but like I said earlier, the colored shoes give a little something something. Nothing screams, I'm a 40 year old dad about to go bowling more than this outfit in this dance. These dad vibes are definitely right up my alley. <laughs> He was a skater boy, she said see you later boy. Wait, how can I make these lyrics more fashion related? It was a skater outfit, I said, um, uh, you know what, uh, never mind. <laughs> I'm crashing and burning just like I do on my skateboard. Oh boy, these jokes are getting bad. This shirt is my this shirt belonged to my mom in high school shirt. I just said shirt like 10 times, so it's automatically a vintage shirt. This shirt looks oddly similar to the last one. I don't know why, but I love cream. It's one of my many fairly plain cream shirts. And lastly for the speed round, but I talk too much, so not really speed round outfits, I paired this thrifted DIY cut polo with my used to be white Converse for the ultimate 90s look. Is your school just as cold as mine? Probably. I paired this bright orange turtleneck with my Converse and mom jeans for a warm yet still summery look. School's cold but it's still August. So I recommend having one warm yet comfortable long sleeve or sweater so you can be warm and still fit the August vibes. Secondly, for a warm yet summery look for all those tundras we call schools, I'd recommend pairing a lightweight shirt with a long sleeve you can easily take off. This flannel also definitely gives the outfit very early fall vibes, which is perfect for September. Also, do people still wear jackets tied around their waist? I don't think so. Now onto shorts. Oh wait, I'm not wearing shoes. Okay, now onto shorts. 
Yes, I'm aware this is no way in anyone's school dress code, and I've worn this white shirt like 50 times in this video, but it's like 106 degrees out and I got real tired of wearing pants. I just wanted to show you guys an easy way to make simple outfits a little more exciting. I paired a plain top and bottoms with a colorful striped belt. Also, did someone say they don't own any belts because all their jeans fit? Well, no worries. In a true Amber Chamberlain shoelace belt style, a ribbon also surprisingly makes a nice belt. To be honest, I didn't plan out how many outfits I was going to show in this video, and not to brag, but I'm actually pretty impressed with myself that I hit 20 outfits exactly. I hope this video at least brings a little joy and fun to the thought of going back to school. Good luck to everyone on the first day of school, and bless your heart for the people who have already started. See you guys next week.